what's up everyone this is mtt mr mtt once again motivate traveler if you see me with a keep uh, my new helmet and you see me with a reflector no it's that time of exploring and today i'm at uh, kirimani i want us to go from haringam kirimani up to uh, james Geshoro road uh, this area has recently uh, been trading because of the high-rise apartments which we are going to see but already I can start seeing them here on your side on the other side so we will see all of them and see what is happening right here in Kirimani Harigam all the way to uh, to uh, Westland in uh, James Shoro Road enjoy the ride today this is Mr. MTT subscribe if you haven't yeah let's go let's start our our exploring day We are starting here in Haringa, going to Kirimani, uh, then head all the way to Westland area in Nairobi city. There has been a raising question. I see the high rise building with uh, the high-rise building or apartments will be constructed or not but right now but right now here in this area it is evidence it is evident that the apartments have been built almost looking like the next uh, the next what do we call it pipeline my last video I was in pipe right there are people having conversation that will this be the next the next pipeline because of those uncontrolled building it is a wait and see but the good thing about this area even if they are tall buildings they are classic you can't compare them with uh, with the one at pipeline area. With that, you can see like this building over here, this apartment. It is a world class apartment. And if it is tall, it's built very nice. The same as these ones, which have lined up here.
I'm done with Kirimani and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm heading to Kirireshwa. <laughs> Amazing views. Beautiful apartments. You can see how those apartments look like. Amazing, beautiful. Even on the other side. This area is one of the best area to live in if you you are a person of luxury, a person of class. This is where you can live. the beautiful roundabouts are, are very beautiful see that roundabout rest let us have a down a downhill switch downhill and uphill oh yeah 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 it's very hard and the right are on let me stop first in the meantime let me take a break here having a view of a round up on uh, a round up uh, apartment over there on the other side the same but we can see there is some old houses that the former houses that were usually known in here in uh, Kirimani, Kirireshwa, right like now we are in Kirireshwa. Yeah, you can see the old house with a uh, cray, what do we call it? We call it Maturufari, I don't know what we call them in your language. The one which I built uh, by now. So I want to close the road right here. Because I missed the roundabout because I wanted to take a break. And the vehicles are allowed. They are not allowing me to enter the roundabout. I think I can cruise now. Is it? Yeah, let me go. This is Kirireshwa. The place is very transforming. The road is Oreguru, Oreguruana. I think that is a Maasai name, maybe. Ore, Oreguruana. Oreguruana road. <laughs> Garito, the chicken, the chicken priest. The modern apartment right here, they are on another level. See how they are. Not one, not two, not three. A lot of them. The old houses right there. This is what, what I used to be known here in Kiribati. I don't know if you can see inside these trees. Yeah, that house, that kind of house. But 
right now, these are the houses which are constructed. We have a crossroad here. Ah. They have given me the way. I was fearing for that. See another tall building. That has been Kirereshwa guys. We started all the way from Haringam to, to Kirimani to Kirereshwa right now and I'm heading to James Geshoro Road or junction between James Geshoro and, and Waiyakiwe. Tell me how do I look with the helmet? You know I have been cycling without helmet but right now I have one I feel very safe I feel very safe with it A good helmet Thank you for whoever donated this I love you so much In the meantime we have now entered to the art place uh, with the transformation not yet reached here a lot of bugaros and residential area with the bugaros not the high high rise apartments even you can tell by the roof of the environment it is not that busy this is how it used to look like a couple of years ago something like that it's what was known here but the transformation is done it's coming even this place I'm very sure it will be transformed it won't look this way it won't look this way forever it is because that there are a lot of people or population in Kenya is increasing a lot of people are in need of houses and the only option we have is to demolish the bugaros like this one and build an apartment a high-rise apartment that will accommodate a lot of people I'm in Lovington uh, Lovington now It is very similar, it is very similar with Kereshwa. The people, not really people but the residential areas, they are very similar. Because here is where people usually knew as For people who love uh, ravish life, uh, that ravish life, you know, that high life. We are on James Gesherro Road, and we headed to Waiyakiwe now. James Gesherro Road was constructed by uh, Japan, uh, Japan farmer. It's a Japan farm, not really sure about the name, but it was constructed by a Japan farm uh, in conjunction with the Kenyan government. 
and this is the face of the face of it it's very beautiful the roundabout in front of me yeah let's go let's start on James Gishiro Lo to add Nairobi Expressway or to add the West Rand area in Nairobi City Feel the air, you can feel eh, even the freshness of the air we are breathing right here. It's very cool. You can even confuse this with uh, a village life. So guys, I'm almost at the junction of uh, James Gishuru and, uh, and uh, Nairobi Expressway or Waiyakiwe. So I have to catch a break on this uphill. At 
visitor I relax my legs because I have encountered some few uphill up in the meantime this is uh, this is I don't know now if I can call it is it Mobangari? Yeah, I think it's Mobangari area. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think it's Mobangari. I'm not really sure because I'm, I have come from that side, huh? that Kerereshwa side, huh? and I'm not really familiar with this place. But there is my first time here. I've never been here again. You can see on the board we have red red hill road Wayakwe Wayakwe and I'm on and I'm on James Shore Road. So with that guys uh, let me push the the bike on this uphill and see you in the next one. This is Mr. MTT. Subscribe if you haven't. If you have already subscribed, give the video a like. Let's continue exploring our beautiful country kenya let's go finally at our destination Thank you. 